everybody! My name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today I'm doing a full body workout and then I'm following it up with some cardio. So as always, the workout breakdown will be on my blog, BenderFitness.com. But let's get started. Exercise number one today is a dive bomber. So I'm going to start out in a plank position, core pulls in tight. And then I'm going to lift my butt so that I'm in a down dog position. Heels pressing to the ground. Look forward, bend your arms, bring your chest toward the floor, and then follow with your butt until you're looking up at the ceiling in an up dog position. So that's one. Press it back to that original position. Make sure your back is flat. Two. If you can, bend your arms to come back up. Three. If not, you can just lift your butt. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Make sure you keep breathing. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, last one, oh, really pushing for that last one. Okay, next exercise, we get to come onto our side. We're gonna do a side bicycle. So, bottom hand supports your head. Top hand can stay in front of you, or if you have the extra core support behind your head, but if you find yourself flopping around, add that hand on the floor. So, you want to pull your core in tight, keep your hips still as much as you can, and we're gonna do bicycle circles with our top leg. So we're gonna start out with our legs straight in front of us, bring it down, back, as far as you can, keeping those hips still, stretching through the core, bend the knee, bring it forward. So a really big circle. Oops. That's three, four, try and keep that core still. Five, make sure you're stretching all the way out back past your leg as you reach backwards. Six. Ooh, I'm wobbling a little bit. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Stretch back. 10. 11. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, same thing on the other side. So find that sideline position. Try and keep your feet um, stacked up on top of each other. Try not to lean forward into the hip. You want to keep your body straight up and down like you're leaning against a wall. Here we go. So point that foot in front of you. Even that should be a pretty nice challenge. Bring it back. Bend it once you get as far back as you can extend. 
and bring it forward. Make it a huge circle, like it's a really big bike. That was three, four, five, keep that core tight, six, seven, press it backwards, eight, and then bring it through, press, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, keep your foot also at least at hip height, don't let it fall down to the floor, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, stretch through the core, 19, last one, 20. Okay, next we have heel press. So I'm gonna go onto my belly for this one. And you can rest your forehead on your hands or your chin, or if you're more comfortable, you can lift up like this. But I like to rest my head down and we're gonna alternate. What we wanna do is keep our thighs and knees lifted from the floor. I'm gonna do five pulses with my feet flexed, heels pressing up, and then I'm gonna do five with my toes pressing up until I get to 20. Here we go. One. Five. Point. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm actually doing 30. <laughs> okay, so next exercise, we have boat ankle cross. For this one, we're gonna come into our boat position. So um, if you are still building your core strength and you have problems with the stability, keep your arms bent, lean back, core pulls in tight, legs extend, and you're gonna cross. If you have a little bit more stability in your core already, hands can reach, lean back, pull that core in, back stays straight, reach, and one, and two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. Give a little extra lift at the end there. Okay, next we have warrior three pole. So for warrior three pose, what you're gonna do is bend at the waist. So no rounded back, back stays nice and straight. I'm actually gonna keep my arms out behind me this time. As your leg extends behind you, you're Standing legs slightly bent, and then we're gonna straighten it, bring our knee forward toward our shoulder, and then press it back, bend that leg. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, reach that toe toward the back wall, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oops, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Same thing on the other side, shake it out if you need to. Pull that core in, and here we go. As the leg reaches back, standing leg bends slightly. One, that's two. 
three, four, five, hold the core in, six, seven, always find your balance every time you check, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, press back through that toe, fifteen, sixteen, Oh, 17, 18, 19, I'm trouble balancing on this side, 19, last one, 20. Okay, next exercise is a shoulder tap push up. So for this one, we're going to do a regular push-up, and then you're going to cross, tap your shoulder in between each one. So, one, two, three, keep the core tight, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, keep breathing, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, last two exercises. I need a sip of water. <laughs> We're doing a leg series, so it's actually three exercises combined. Okay, so lay down. Hands can come down at your sides. You're gonna lift through the hips, pushing through the heels the whole time, so not on your toes. Weight goes in the heels as you lift. I'm gonna extend my right leg first and lift. First, I'm gonna do 10 leg lifts, so one, Two, core pulls tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now ten hip presses. So leg stays up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Combine it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Same thing on the other side. Bring those heels in a little closer. Here we go. Left leg extends. Right leg presses through the heel. And one, two, three, four. Pull the core in. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, press those hips up, 10, lift, one, two, press through the heel, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, combine it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, relax, that's one round. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's my workout for today. Like I said, I am gonna follow it up with some cardio. So check my blog for the breakdown, benderfitness.com, plus right around 400 other free home workouts. Hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye guys.